The 100 Black Men of Greater Washington, D.C. started a STEM initiative called the STEM the 100 Way and seeking an endowment to ensure that STEM programs such as the GEMS and uh, SQL and AEOP programs, those types of STEM programs and outreach are uh, made available to students in all communities within the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. This program will most definitely help me in school. Having the capacity to do things on my own and do things to better myself, I've had to do a lot of those things in this program and it's really been a teaching lesson the entire program and it's really going to benefit me through my entire college career. The GEMS program is very different from my normal science class because we do a lot more projects in GEMS. In GEMS, after we learn everything, we do a project to reinforce that knowledge. Whereas at school, we do labs or projects about once a week in our science classes. So even though we're learning topics more often, we're not doing as many projects. Well, with the GEMS program, I am a near peer mentor. I instruct the students, I help the students, I talk to them about science, math, and engineering. Um, this year we are talking about engineering concepts, so we teach them about gears, levers, pulleys. We also talk to them about budget. So we're here as a guide, but we're also here as their peers to talk to them about college and moving into the STEM field. The takeaway for GEMS is that science um, in a normal teaching environment is not optimal for students to love and want to do science. And so GEMS offers them a way to actually do the hands-on experiment themselves with increasing sophistication, with support from a college student, their near peer mentor, a concept we named years ago. And those near peer mentors bring those students forward, make science fun, make it exciting, making, make it natural to them, make it something that they can learn now and learn forever. You learn when you can. You learn as much as you can. You learn in the summer and the winter. I did this program because I love science, I love engineering, and I love math. We live in such a great area here in this Metroplex with all the biotech companies, we have all the National Institutes of Health and Research, the Naval Research Laboratories, all the Army and DOD laboratories, all across the state and in Virginia, that there's such a wealth of knowledge and opportunity here that it's our duty to ensure that all students in all the schools in these areas have an opportunity in STEM education. If you think about the world by jumping to conclusions, you're going to be left behind. But if you think about the world by making observations and then trying to figure out what that means, then you're going to be ahead of the game. You're going to be successful because you're always going to be thinking about what something means and not listening to what other people tell you it means. That's what science is about. That's where discoveries come from. I see a lot of kids who are very bright, um, but because nobody expects them to advance, they kind of sit in the remedial classes when they should be in the advanced classes. Even when it seems like they shouldn't be in there, the exposure to that uh, makes a big difference. I feel like if there was more funding for the program, it would be a lot more extensive. We'd be able to get into a lot more subject areas. And even as is, it was really, really well-rounded. There are a lot of distractions. And there are a lot of uh, things that interest people, particularly when you talk about tangibles. Boats, cars, houses, all that sort of thing. Uh, lots of tangibles. Um, those can be taken from you or those can burn down or go away. But there is something that is permanent that you can get, but you have to earn it, and it's a degree. Once you take that tassel from the side of your cap at graduation to the side that says, I have completed this, I have graduated, it is yours and no one can take that from you. And the worth of that probably cannot be quantified because you don't know how far your horizons are going to take you. When you do get that degree, when you do learn those things that really science is a backdrop for, that also affects leadership. And when you can be a leader in an organization, then you can also impact others in addition to just the education piece. That's right. And, and I think doctors, lawyers, other D degrees, you know, by their expertise, uh, by their intellect, 
they often become natural leaders.